Hello guys, I am Rajiv and welcome back to Code Street. So in this video, we are going to get started with AI in C Sharp application. So in this video, we are going to use semantic kernel along with open AI LLM and uh, we are going to use .NET Core 9. So if you are beginner, you want to start your journey with AI, then this video is perfect for you because I am going to explain each and everything in very detail. So let's go ahead and see what all we are going to cover today. So first we'll see the basics of semantic kernel and then we'll get the OpenAI API key by going to its official website and then we are going to integrate semantic kernel in our application and at the end we are going to build the chat app also we are going to keep the history so that we can communicate with AI in the same context. So first what is the semantic kernel? Okay, so semantic kernel is a SDK basically which connect uh, LLM models like OpenAI, Azure OpenAI and Hugging Face. Okay, and right now this semantic kernel is available for three languages which is C, Python and Java. So by looking at this diagram, you can understand like how it works and here it has given like uh, what all models it supports for now. And uh, this diagram is also available on Microsoft website so you can go and check it out. So why semantic kernel is special? So this is uh, really nice to know, okay? Like why do we need to use semantic kernel? The first thing is it's like, it's available for us like uh, in a CSAP, okay? Like in a CSAP and they have built in a such a way that any beginners can just start and build a very powerful AI applications. Okay, so here they have given these all 10 things, okay, which is applicable for CSAP like we need to get the package we need to add the ai services like so like you can add your uh, llms here basically in these steps and then this is for the like uh, enterprise components they have also or like we can use with the aspire then uh, like we build the kernel we add the memory okay so that uh, we can store the chat history then we can develop the plugins so so with the help of plugins, we can just enhance its features like uh, we using the plugins, we can uh, make external API calls, we can write our own functions, okay. And developing plugins here is like very easy. I mean, it's very easy. I have never seen a, such an easy way to develop a plugins here, okay. So these are the features, okay, which is why semantic kernel is special. So now let's get started. Okay, so first you have to come to this website, okay, platform.openai.com slash API is. So once you hit this, then you will see this option. If you have not logged in already, then uh, it will come and ask like this. It will say login, okay, or sign up if you have not even signed up. And but I believe you have already signed up and you will be using GPTs, okay. So for the same account, you can do. And then we need to create a secret key here. We can give any name like uh, I can say like code script yt and I will leave it as a report project and create secret key. Okay, so uh, once you do this, then you can just copy from here. Okay, copy and you can then save somewhere Okay, so we are good now. Now let's go ahead and create the application and then we'll be using the same API key. Okay, so let's create new project and we'll use console application. So click next and I'm giving this name as a chat AI chat. App. Yeah, that's perfect. Next and I'm going to use nine. Create. Okay, so first we have to install the package. So we will come here and browse Microsoft.semantic kernel. This one, okay. Let's install this. Okay. All good. Now let's clear this screen completely and start using like First, we have to bring that package, which is semantic kernel, and then let's start builder. Okay, now next one is 
this is the basically I'm going to connect with OpenAI. Okay, so add open AI chat completion and here we need to pass uh, the parameters you can see here, right? The model ID, okay, and uh, the basically the OpenAI key. So first let's uh, use GPT-4 and here I'm going to add my API key which uh, just generated. So here is my API keys. Okay, let's go ahead and then create instance of uh, this kernel and this intelligence is really nice. This, this is what we are looking for. Let's create chat service equals kernel dot get required service and here we need to pass i chat completion service yeah perfect okay so once we add this then this new namespace would be added here so all good so let's start writing the while loop let's write for the user console write and here to the user just doing like this and run here user message equals full dot read line perfect now let's define the response basically chat dot get streaming chat perfect and in the second parameters we need to pass kernel so let's define um, all right here i will say like uh, ai response or let it be ai only okay perfect now uh, what i have to do is i will use await uh, with the for each with await basically so where uh, that in response yeah that's fine that's and here again we'll write chat okay and uh, outside of this one let's write console dot write line and this looks perfect okay we'll we are going to improve this okay further uh, because this is a just a simple one let's see how it goes so let's hi yeah perfect now i want to show you one thing so let's say if i ask who is Virat Kohli. Okay, it will say each and everything. Okay. And if I ask here when when he played last match, okay. Then uh, you will see interesting. Okay, so what it's saying is could you please specify which player or a sport you are referring to it means basically whatever chat we are doing here this uh this ai is not knowing i mean uh like earlier we asked for the virat Kohli, but it doesn't know like uh for whom we are asking okay now if i say when virat Kohli, virat Kohli played last match then yeah it can okay is here he is uh, providing okay so now this is a part of the history okay so like we are not maintaining the history okay again if you say uh, this message then again he will you forget okay so when he played again the same response okay so let's make it a little nice we'll let's uh, implement the history part okay so let's define the history first so chat history and uh, chat messages or let me write chat history so a better naming convention okay uh, now then let's define the color first for the console color okay so console or foreground color and uh, let me write this yellow okay okay so now whatever message user will ask that we are going to add in the history okay and the same history basically chat history now we are going to replace here okay so all history will go to the our open AI so that he can understand the context okay 
dot add this is the user message okay so this is coming here perfect now it will come now we need to define okay so i need to put one more color for our ai also and for the ai i'm making it like green okay and uh, that's perfect now we need to define one variable which will contains all the i will uh full message basically for the one context okay so let's say i'm full message equals empty and let me write full message plus equals to chat okay and at the end again uh, i need to add the message to this chat history okay so this would be chat history dot add assistant message and full message okay so let me run first okay so user let me ask the same question okay so who is virat kohli okay okay uh this is nice uh green screen is coming right and hope it's clear to you okay now again let me ask when he played last match the same question so this time we are uh maintaining the history so now ai will be knowing yes you can see right perfect now like whatever question we ask in the same context it will keep answering okay so let's say where he born Virat Kohli was born in Delhi India okay so I mean the response is coming completely okay so let's understand the code once okay so I'm just going through the beginning okay so first we need to uh, use this namespace okay semantic kernel and also for the chat completion we need to use this one okay so these are the two namespaces which will be required okay for this one then we are going to create the builder so if you are working on dotnet core then you might know already okay this part so we are creating the builder and on this builder we are we are adding here open ai okay with the model okay which model of gpt we are going to use and uh api key okay that's all and then here we are building the kernel okay now we are going to create the instance okay of the kernel dot get required services because we need chat completion services right so for that we are going to create the instance here and then the simple step is now we are invoking the same basically we are passing the i mean earlier we passed the request and then here we need to pass the kernel okay so this is overall and i think you know this part these are the very simple thing like a very basic part okay so let me write like this so like here i'm just prompting for user like it will prompt as a user and the cursor will blink so that user can provide their uh, request okay and whatever the request is provided uh, using that uh, that input i am storing into this user message and then i am adding that user message into the chat history and uh, the same chat history now sending to the basically the chat service dot get a streaming chat service so that i will get the uh, response in a, a streaming mode okay like uh, in a chunk and then i'm just here uh, changing the color for the, uh, the agent i mean the, basically the ai if i can say okay um the same again what we'll see will first uh, ai will be uh, prompt here and then once the response started coming we'll be uh, printing into the console and the same i am storing to the message and in the end once again i am adding the full message whatever uh, that context has uh, given the full message i am storing to the chat history into the add assistant message okay and that's all for today guys hope you like it if you have any query or uh, suggestion please do write on the comment box we'll see in the next video thanks for watching